is a, this is a uh, video demonstration of the Struer Truckomatic 2, a grinding polishing station. Uh, we have it powered off right now. I just want to uh, talk about the utilities required. Come around the back. This uh, is running off a 208 3 phase. We have an air supply coming in. Oh, we're at about uh, 40 psi on that. And then uh, a water line coming in, we have a drain. So I have a temporary drain here from our setup and for the demo. And uh, you do have a uh, exhaust, exhaust port here that you can hook up an exhaust if necessary. So I'll go ahead and power it up, turn the air on. Actually, we're at about 80 PSI out of here. Here's our main power on. You come around the front and you can look at the screen. And the other thing I want to take notice of too, well, while we're in the front here, I just want to point out, we don't have the, uh, this is uh, generally used for alcohol, uh, cleaning solution, and for, uh, I think it's GI water, I, I forget exactly, it was in the manual. So, um, we didn't have the bottle, so you'll need to purchase a consumable item, you'll have to purchase the two bottles that'll sit here. And this is part of the cleaning process would be used in a cleaning cell. I'll point that out later. Uh, in the back here you have also consumable item. You have to fill this up with the proper solution for cooling. And again, that's in the manual. But I have tested the pump out. And I'll run the recipe to show that the pump does operate. Uh, this is clean. They also put some kind of filter in here. So again, uh, it came into us this way. I guess they were not using it. But you'll, you'll need to go ahead and get the filter that's necessary here explained in the manual and two bottles. This is for the grinding station and these two are for the cleaning station. But I, have, I ran a recipe, I tested it out, the pump is working. So. That's not the way in here and used only on those necessary parts of the program. I'll explain that later. And then you lock that closed. Oh, you do have a tool stop here if necessary. There's interlocks on the side panel too. We have little micro switches, so if this panel lifts up, it'll stop any of the operation. So all these panels have to be down, the, the, the one on this side, the one on the other side. And I'll leave these open for startup, and it'll, it'll, I'll show you how the interlocks are working. I've checked them off, they're all working right. Uh, there's two micro switches here that have to be made in order for the uh, stage to move, uh, carousel to move. Okay, so the tool stop is out. We'll go ahead and hit the power on. Open the door real quick. We're going to power up on our screen here, and here it says find, uh, to find a carousel reference. It has to find a reference in order to know what position it's in. Uh, we have to close the door, so I'll go ahead and close the second door here. And you can see that the carousel is moving. It's going to find a reference, which is picked up by a proximity sensor here. And it always goes to position two on the beginning. each one of the uh, uh, discs here are labeled position one through five and you can move them as necessary by using your arrows to the right or left so here we're at five and I'll go ahead and move it to one one is on this side of the uh, off center and the other ones are uh, we'll go ahead and move that again Two through four, you'll see the polishing is done on the right-hand side, slightly off-center. Now, the one thing to point out, this here is the cleaning station, and that's what's going to be using that pump there. So after each time you do a polishing or grinding, it's going to move. you have the option of moving over to do a clean and then continue on. Again, that's explained in the manual. Oh, here's your... Uh, your sample holder. There are various other sample holder fixtures that are, will come along. Let me show you the bag while I'm here. So you got a bag of fixtures that for different size samples. Whatever came along with the system, we're just going to send it. As you can tell, there's quite a few different uh, setups there. Right now, I don't have anything on it. In order to load your sample up, on you'll need to uh, 
lift up. Oh, I did that kind of quick. You gotta be careful. And then, uh, you can load, this is for a single sample. It does have the uh, pressure set here, too. So, it's explained in the manual exactly how to load the sample in there. But in this case, it, it would only have one single sample of uh, that size. I think that's about filling. So, anyway, we'll go ahead and lift this up. And we'll place our sample holder in. Now that rotates, you can you can select the direction in the program, whether you want to go along with the uh, same rotation as the uh, polishing plates or opposite. Again, explained in the manual. All right, so basically looking at our screen here, I'll keep hitting escape to get to the main menu, which is this screen, it says main menu up top. Now there are pre-programmed strewers methods for doing uh, polishing. Or grinding. So I use the up or down arrow here to move left and right in this case. So hit enter. So here are all the methods that are uh, pre programmed in by Strewers. Now, in order to create your own program, you have to copy one of these, then modify it and call it what you, you want to call it in the user's methods. Again, this is explained in the manual in the operation. So I'll escape out of here. I'll move over to uh, Configuration, I'll hit that, enter. And it gives you three uh, possibilities of configurating uh, the, uh, the system here. You can set up the user consumables by hitting enter. Again, this is explained. So put, you, you'll, you'll put down exactly what's in each bottle, what's in each lubricant, and what's on each, uh, what type of polishing pad you're using, or grinding pad, for instance here. So this is where you'll program that in. And then you put the name of what pad you have on it for Surface structure. And you tell whether it's abrasive or non-abrasive. Again, this is all explained in the manual. And then, and then you got your suspensions and lubricants. So you'll, you'll, you'll explain this, and this is, again, as explained in the manual, you'll program that in. So. And then uh, the other thing to point out, too, is you do have your bottle configuration, too, that you'll need to say what's in each bottle. So here we got bottle one is nine micron, six, one, quarter, DT blue, DT red, and OP7, uh, OPS. If you go around the side here, you'll see where the bottles are stacked up. I have this uh, city water in these right now for the test. That's all we have uh, capabilities of. We have parasolic pumps for each one of those. It'll pump it in up through the uh, through the head here and out the top. Uh, I'll demonstrate that as I run a recipe. But each one of these pumps has been tested by using the recipe. Okay. Again, this is just uh, house water I have set up in each one of these. Well, again, a lot of this is explained in the operations manual. It's not too difficult. You just you just got to tell it what's in each bottle and what's it, what, what polishing pad you have or grinding pad. And, and, and grinding, the grinding station would be station one. And then you can also set up a uh, cleaning program. So typically you're gonna you're gonna do a polishing, you're gonna clean it and go to the next stage. So you can set up each one of your your. Uh, cleaning programs here when I hit enter. So each one is programmed. And then you select it in your other program which cleaning program you want to use. <laughs> so here's program one, it goes through a couple of three or four steps here. Each the water air, alcohol air. And that again that would be using the cleaning station here after you polish it and step over to there. Okay. Trying to go through this quickly because there's a lot involved, but you'll you'll need to uh, refer to the manual and it'll explain how to use. It. Um, you need to clean all the tubes. You would use something here. I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now because I want to save the liquid in there to uh, run the uh, recipes I have programmed. But 
you have a few uh, manual addressing and the cleaning of the op OPEX too. Again, explain it in a minute. So, the best thing to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and run one of the recipes I have that as you see, it's in a directory called bit test one users groups. So each time it's basically a directory. And then once you open that directory, you'll see that there's uh, the ability to program 10 different uh, methods. So I have test one here. We'll quickly look at what it does. And then here's a list of what it does here. It's, I just chose, I have no pads on here, but uh, this is a typical recipe here. So you can see each one of the uh, grit grains are programmed in, that's your bottles, and then here's your lubricant, you're also using the red or the blue of the bottle, and then here would be your surface, so each one of the surfaces you have programmed in. And again, number one, the number of specimens is one. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit start. I, I, well, you can look at each step here, so what I want to explain is, I did set the force down to only 10 uh, newtons, and then here's your time, 30 seconds. And then here's your dosing time. You also have a pre-dosing, so that, that'll occur before the head comes down. Again, all of this is explained you can, uh, in the manual. Here's your uh, RPMs, your hit, hit speed, and it's, the mode is time. So it's just going to go by time. 30 seconds, it'll be done. So let's go ahead and... Uh, so that's just one of the steps. Escaping out here, it's basically the same for all the other steps. Number one, it's not programmed. Again, I'll, I'll have to explain that on another program. That's basically used for grinding. The speed's a little bit higher and the courses are higher. And uh, I'll explain that later on the uh, another another recipe I have programmed. But let's go ahead and run this. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So, um, from, well, basically from here, I, I would just hit the green button and hit start. Now see we're at station one, it'll automatically go to the stations that are programmed, two, three, four, and five. So let's go ahead and hit the start and we'll watch it run. So moved over to two. It's doing its pre-dosing and you can see the liquid coming out. So one of the pair of pumps that are programmed for it, which I think was mine, pulling the solution out. So the polishing uh, holder specimen holder came down and was making contact with the surface at the 10 newtons I've broken. And it, it'll do that for 30 seconds. It'll come up and then move over to the cleaning seal. So we'll let it do one step of that. Then I'll show you it at each one of the other stages. So it's it's going to take about a minute per stage. And here, Again, there's no alcohol or uh, water. I mean, there is water, but there's no alcohol or the other uh, part of the, the cleaning solution that they uh, have programmed in there because the bottles are missing. But you can hear the air turn on and the water turn on. Okay, now we're doing our uh, position two polishing. And if you See the drips coming out down here? You'll see that the lubricant and the, uh, it kind of pulses on and off the lubricant and the, uh, the grit, the nine micron grit. And again, I only have it at 10 newtons for 30 seconds. It's almost up and you're going to see it'll move over to whatever, to the cleaning station to the program that was programmed for that cleaning station. Look at the drain here, you can see the water coming out the drain from that cleaning uh, station. And then it's going to step on after this program, uh, after this cleaning uh, step, it's going to step on move to the second step, which is uh, position number three.
then you need to position each, each stage what you need to do uh, at each step on each position and then what planing program you would like afterwards. Here we're using our neck suspension. And lubricant. You see the red or blue, I forget how I had the program. But it's demonstrating that each one of these parasolid pumps are working. And you can see that the liquid's dripping out. So basically each each one of these bottles gets pumped into a, like its own individual tube. It's brought up through here. All right, so we'll come back. We'll look at the other two stages, real, uh, the other two positions, real quick. But basically, the recipe will run through four and five. Clean, and here you go. We're back to the clean. So by doing this, I've tested each one of the uh, parasolic pumps. I tested the up and down motion and the rotation of the tables. And the only thing I'll, I'll let you do is I have one more recipe uh, programmed in. We'll come back and run that one, and we'll demonstrate the, uh, the grinding stage. Okay, we're at station number four now for our fourth, the fourth step of the program. And I just want to point out here, it tells you what step you're in, how much time's left. So we'll let this continue on. We'll look at five and then we'll come back and we'll run the uh, position one, which is the driving station. Okay, now it's moving over to five after the previous cleaning station and you'll see it drop down and start polishing on the Position five. All right, so we'll come back. And I'm going to show you the final recipe that I, I used to test the pump and the uh, grinding station. Okay, so I'm back at the bid test directory, and I created a program in number ten here. Unnamed method right now, and um, name it. You can always rename your methods here. But anyway, let's go ahead and hit enter. Here you only have a, uh, the capability of selecting with station one, uh, certain parameters that are basically used for grinding. And uh, if you need to change or edit your recipe, you'll go ahead and hit enter. And from here, like say we're at the uh, surface, if I want to change that, And it'll give you a list of what you can change it to. So this is in the program. I can make it a grinding zone, which is not uh, a grinding disc or a grinding pad. For instance, like that. Um, so now it's a uh, grinding pad. Your grit grain here is number 120. Lubricant is water. So here's a program for this. And, and, and I just want, I want to point out one thing here too. The speed is faster on the grinding. Again, if I want to change that, it could either be a thousand or five hundred. That's your two uh, choices. I'll we'll leave it at a thousand, and uh, we'll go ahead and just start from here. Oh, I changed it. You know, I, you know, I didn't say that I changed that. Let me just put that back um, to where it was. No, I guess that exception can change. As you can see, it moved down to position one now. It's on the left-hand side as compared to the right for the other one. It's a little hard to tell, but if you look down here, I can feel the vibrations of it, and I can hear the difference in sound, but this pump is turning. So it would be taking the coolant out of, out of your... Uh, container here bringing it up through the tube and then being returned through a, uh, a drain. But again I tested that pump I can tell it's working. So basically that's a demonstration of all the positions and all the pumps verified that they're working properly, the cleaning stations working properly, uh, the head's moving up and down and turning. Again you can program the rotation And when you do hook it up, it does tell you to check the phasing to make sure your phasing is right because it is three-phase system. The tables are supposed to turn counterclockwise if, you're, if you have the, the correct phase. 
And then if you were to go back here, I just want to show you in direction here, you see the arrow. Let me just step down to that. Well, it's in the middle of the recipe, so it's not going to work over there. Edit it. But anyway, in direction, you can, you can tell it to go in, in phase with it or opposite. So that polishing head, uh, head will turn the opposite direction. All right, so this is done. Let's see if I can go in and just demonstrate that. All right, so the process is done. I'll hit enter. So let's do an edit here. And by hitting enter here, you can change this. See here where the arrows are pointing in at each other, it means it's going opposite direction. And that's in phase. So. And that's true with any of the positions. Alright, so that's the end of our demonstration.